Welcome back everyone, and today we explore the animals which evolution gave a big fat middle finger to. These are the guys who probably would have been better off if the comet had wiped them off this earth. To start off, at number one, we have the Luna Moth. At first glance, you might think, what? This thing looks super cute. No. You want to know why they probably wish they were wiped off this planet? They have no mouth. Yeah, no mouth. They have no way of consuming food. They come out of the cocoon with no mouth, and the worst part is, they had one. The caterpillar form of them have a mouth, but once they enter their cocoon and fully form, they just don't have a mouth anymore. They reach their final form, and nature just decides to nerf them for no reason. Like completely unprovoked, nature just removes their mouth, which obviously means they can't eat. They survive purely off whatever they manage to store as a caterpillar, which, considering the foresight of a caterpillar, you can imagine, isn't much. So, once that runs out, so does the Luna Moth's free trial on this Earth, because they just starve alive. From when they exit the cocoon, they get about one week to find a mate and procreate before they go from present to past. Just as an extra FU, they also lose their digestive system. So the Luna Moth doesn't even get hungry. They just get more and more tired until they eventually get kicked off the mortal plane. The Luna Moth somehow made it past the Pleistocene era with just one week to pass on its genetics. Talk about a legendary run. Number two is the Hyena. Because this image you see right now is in fact a female. And if you're slightly familiar with mammal biology, you might be able to figure out why I have them at number two. Female hyenas have a pseudophallus, which means they have to push babies out of that. And, warning, it is an absolute pain fest for both parties. Apparently, it's to protect themselves from unwanted male attention. It works in a way so that the female can flush out the love potion of an undesirable male. With hyenas, not only do a good amount of cubs suffocate on their way out of the pseudophallus while being born, but a lot of first-time mothers will get torn up so bad in the process that they end up bleeding out and flatlining. What an awful curse from Mother Nature. Next up on the list is the koala. Cute and cuddly, but oh, did evolution do them wrong. I don't even know where to begin with this. But first of all, koalas are incredibly stupid. They have one of the smallest brain-to-body ratios of any mammal. Additionally, their brains are smooth. If you don't know why that's an issue, you too might be smooth-brained. No, but in all seriousness, a brain is folded to increase the surface area for neurons, which evolution decided the koala just didn't need. If you present a koala with leaves plucked from a branch laid on a flat surface, the koala won't recognize it as food. On the evolutionary skill tree, they have zero points invested in the brains department. They are too simple-minded to cope with change. The koala is so stupid that in a room full of food, they will literally starve. One of the likely reasons for their primitive brains is that, other than being poisonous, eucalyptus leaves, the only thing koalas eat, have essentially zero nutritional value, meaning koalas literally cannot afford the extra energy to think. I am now going to list off a bunch of things I also learned about koalas while researching them. They sleep 80% of their lives. They don't have herbivore teeth, so when their teeth inevitably are too worn down, they solve the issue by just starving. Koala joeys need milk to survive as babies, but koalas can produce almost no milk. When they transition from milk to eucalyptus, they lack the ability to digest the leaves, so the young koala has to solve this by nuzzling on its mother's behind until she leaks diarrhea into their mouths, which they have to consume to gain the ability to start digesting eucalyptus leaves. So, yeah, I'm going to rank koalas high on the list of animals that evolution didn't favor. Next up is the Bubarusa, and that's for just one simple reason. This is a real picture and the inevitable outcome for Bubarusas. The Bubarusa is a wild pig found in Indonesia, and their tusks can grow through its mouth. But sometimes they keep growing and give the swine a DIY lobotomy, going straight through the skull into the brain. The worst part is, it's like a hidden curse, because by the time they actually are affected by this issue, the Bubarusa has had the chance and a bunch of time to pass on the genetic struggle to its offspring, 
which means that not even evolution wants to save these guys. The sad fate of someone who avoids nature's warning signs. So there you have it, the list of animals which evolution failed. I was going to add pandas to this list, but I think they are deserving of their own video, so look out for that in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and make sure to subscribe for more content.